Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris, 2010 GL450. We have a problem with the transmission issue here. So please, together, we're going to use our Auto Logic scanner, which is aftermarket scanner. In one time, this is one of the best scanner ever for technology. When it's come, it sort out some cars, some tools. But this tool, I'm telling, uh, hold on. And still now it does some functions, but some other new tools come out. Okay, I'm going to try to put the OBD2. I just connect the OBD2 in. This tool once one time they are so advanced until now they solve a lot of problems for the older cars but newer cars mm -mm. before if I tell you something just to get to get auto logic with BMW Mercedes and Land Rover or just BMW and Mercedes only you are talking about believe me about let me turn the radio off. I don't want radio on. You talk about thirty thousand dollars. You want to put run, uh, out, uh, Volvo and other stuff. You talk about seventy to a thousand dollar for the software, and uh, you just have to pay it. But it have limits. But at that time, it work. Right now, there is a lot of option. But also, I was trying to do a uh, two thousand BMW. ABS module, new card for coding. I was I was not able to do it without <laughs> this one. Other tools they say no here and there. Okay, let's go now. But if you need the best job, you need to do the best work on 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 those cars. Please check with dealer tools, original dealer tools, the best of the best. So let's go ahead now and see what gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna go to diagnostic. Right now I have BMW, Land Rover, Mercedes, OBD2. But let me go to diagnose. What happened now? It's freeze. I don't believe it's freeze like that. Okay, I'm gonna turn on, off again. I need to run a diagnostic test. Also, if you have a car like this with one key, please do not stay with one key. It's a headache. Some of those 2010 GL, it take three hours, one to three hours to four hours to read, calculate, all key lost. Some of them, some of them, if you don't have it, all the dealer. Okay, accept the exclaimer their disclaimer and now which one is Mercedes see what we have this car when you drive you put it in drive you drive it is only one speed I want to go through auto detect okay this is the car uh, uh, G class GL class X164 chassis okay say go here is up to 2000 uh, up to May 2008 and this one after May 2000. I'm gonna choose that one. You have to have the uh, some past, present, future of the automotive technology. Those cars that are flying now, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff there. Keep up with your update. Try to go. If you are a mechanic, please try to create your own file, your own um, data collection, your own library, and build it. Uh, do not just go through anything that you repair and leave it there. Okay, here is the car, the mileage, the VIN number. So I'm going to go to drive. I don't want to scan the whole car. On the drive, you have engine, intelligent, intelligent, intelligent servo module. This is, it is a, uh, you know, this car have no shift no stick like you, you shift the cable no it have intelligent that means you 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 push the brake you push br drive 
there is a small piece like a wiper moro by the transmission side and that one he gets signal he tear one step to put the car in park more natural or drive based on the request from here it's just like wiring command based on the switch through uh, communication data line because here also there is a computer input and output through the communication data line you push button one two three you go here you push park if the car is not parked it's sending and the module is there it have a motor like a wiper motor it go based on what you want like if the car is in park you want to go to reverse kick one uh, neutral kick to drive go a little front and then they go back they call intelligence servo motor transfer case everybody know fuel pump fuel pump also it have a computer on it fuel pump control module and then this is a hybrid hybrid shaft generator sensor i don't know what maybe something related to generate please if you are watching this video you have the comment there act with the information you give us send us uh, people will get help a lot of visitors coming here and i also want to appreciate and say thank you for your support and help making this uh, website grow uh, now i'm gonna go to transmission because if you go to engine, it will tell you this is the transmission you're going to get. This is this issue is in unprogrammed state and require programming. Wow. Earlier control unit programming was not performed completely and successfully. Wow. Look at it. You see what happened? This issue is unprogrammed and is in unprogrammed state. Okay. Do we have okay we're gonna start we're gonna we're gonna look for this information this VIN number and I will send a request if we can get the software for it okay I'm gonna start it diagnose okay here is the VIN number confirm an on un an online order has been created please send this using um, using the orders line connect you know like as soon as you go inside instead of diagnosing it already tell us you know what you have to connect this machine and update it and send for online hopefully we can get some file to program it if it's not we have to look for initial startup and after downloading uh, continue with initial startup okay so now you know we don't have no way to do anything for transmission so let me go to engine That means I have to send file. Okay, control unit version. Faulty memory. I'm gonna see control unit version. This is M -E M E97. That's the computer. I will go back. Faulty memory. I'm sure I will get P07 read. I have Eva bleak and it's a uh, P0521 diagnose or flap you know he never give us a mission oh yes here it's a transmission U001 that event event no can message was received from the control unit why because the transmission is not programming so he cannot talk it's still mute that's why look we have a communication line but we cannot talk to each other and that's why when the customer brought the car I drove it I go up and down and I try to figure out what's going on and I was trying to read write the information from the, you know like he said that the car doesn't doesn't go nowhere and the problem already we know that the transmission is empty and here also he said we have no communication with the transmission um, what we learn from here is the customer bought a transmission control module uh, brand new from uh, online he, he brought it in he put it in but it was not programmed so what we need to do now is to see if our our mission now is to see if we will be able to get the data the data and program it put it inside you understand uh, if you get my message and then we try to adjust it uh, program it they say in these days we are in uh, uh, january february the beginning of february two days three days or 15 of february i believe so uh, in these days don't tell me it's mars anyhow we have a problem that uh, Mercedes-Benz shut down the whole all online pass-through device services. Maybe they need 
you to buy their tools i don't know so now we know that we have to look for a way of getting the software set up and program this car the right way before we go to the next level thank you for watching best car fixes this is muhammad haruni thank you again and again and again and our channel is keep growing i do my best to give all the information they, there may be no fix i don't want to waste your time but here if you have any idea anything what happened up in the general please put it down there let us learn together and let our uh, channel grow and thank you for watching uh, our channels and see you in another video wassalamu alaikum warahmatullah best car fixes muhammad harun idris